glitches and muggles welcome back to my channel i firstly want to say this is a very casual vlog it might be a little bit echoey in here i'm sorry if it is but i just had so much stuff to show you that i felt i just had to film it in here so by now you should know that i'm living on my own for the first time i have way more rooms in this house than i used to have and a lot needs furnishing and decorating. So I went shopping. I've been to TK Maxx, I've been to B&M, Poundland, Ikea, The Range, Habitat. I've been to, <laughs> I've been everywhere over the last couple of weeks. And I thought I'll show you what I got. So if you wanna know what I got and you're interested in a big homeware haul, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, don't forget. Uh, you click the subscribe button if you'd like to be part of um, my weird magical online family. But let's go, because honestly, guys, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I'm going to start, I think, with Ikea. So I recently went to Ikea. <laughs> Let's just start with the plant, shall we? So I treat myself to a plant. Now I've got big plans for the room that I'm currently sat in right now. This is the living room. And I'm going for this kind of woody, plant, gray, a natural kind of boho vibe. And I saw this plant and I was like, you know what? That actually looks real. And it means that I won't kill it. So if you'd like to name my plant, I'm thinking Patricia. So yeah, I got myself a little plant. I also got for, this is actually for my studio upstairs because I've got drawers and a new desk. I've bought myself some of these drawer organizers. They're really useful. They're not that expensive either. They're the Ragasar um, ones and these are great. I actually have these in my office desk. I have some for pens and then I have some for my stationery and that kind of thing. So yeah, I got two of these mainly to put my light gadgets like the little remotes, my box opener, so like my pen knife and highlighters when I'm doing sponsored work. So yeah, I got a couple of those. I bought, I bought this really cute blanket and I got this because I thought it would look super sweet on the guest bed. I've now got a guest room where Caraman Chris will stay when he visits and comes for work occasionally and whoever visits really, best friends and all that. So I got this really lovely snuggly blanket from Ikea. Honestly, I really like Ikea. Now for some boring bits. I bought some coasters. These are the coasters in question. They're made out of cork. Caraman Chris used to have some of these and they were really good. They really do stop the drips going onto your desk. So I bought some of these. Um, I think they're either gonna be used in my office. I think I might have one in my office and then I'll put one in the guest room as well because I'm gonna set up a little desk in there as well so whoever visits can have somewhere to work. And speaking of somewhere to work, it's still in its plastic, but I bought one of those things that you put laptops on um, to give a little bit of height. This I did buy with Cameraman Chris in mind. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a desk in the guest room. So I just thought it would be nice. I also bought <laughs> some very exciting things. Plug sockets, a little plug strip. It actually came as a pack of two, which is awesome. And I also got, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but they are so useful from Ikea, they're called Coppola, and they're like a, th a three pin plug, so in the UK, and with three USB holes in them. Very useful, I have these in my office and my bedroom, so very, very useful. What else did I get from Ikea? Let's not break things. Ooh, ah, okay. Now, as I was saying, this room, I have big plans to turn into like this plant-topia. It's gonna be beautiful. And I found this plant in Ikea. It looks a little bit raggedy at the moment because I haven't styled it, but I love it. It's like this kind of eucalyptus-y, sagey style. And I just thought it was really cute. I bought the pots separately, but I saw these. I just fell in love with it. I just thought it was really cute. So I've got a little plant again. Feel free to name him. I'm thinking Clive. What's really good about these, I actually saw this in a TikTok hack, is that if you want to change the length of these, they just kind of pop out, apparently. Um, 
like that and you could change you could put the back or you could change the length of them and i just think that's really cool so that you can really customize the way your plant hangs but yes they've got a lot of these at ikea at the moment so there's clive something that i've wanted in my kitchen for a while is some tissue like a tissue dispenser like on the table so i bought this it's like wicker and wood and i then bought obviously i'm not going to have the whole packet in here but i bought some napkins so i'll put the rest in like a cupboard but i've got like this little napkin dispenser so that's cute next up now these look boring but i'm very excited about them these are little storage things now these are actually designed to be trays inside one of these it's like this ikea kind of draw thing for kids to put like crayons and toys but i saw these and i was like they are perfect for under my sinks i'm gonna put labels on them and i'm gonna organize all of my cleaning products so i've got four for now i might end up getting some more but i thought that would be a nice start some of those oh my god i'm just surrounded by things Sorry, I had to move you a little bit because the table that <laughs> you are on right now was on top of this. This is a mat called Sindel from Ikea. I just thought this would be perfect in the lounge. I've got patio doors. I wanted a mat that would go with the theme of the room that I'm planning and this is perfect. So it's practical, of course, but it's gonna look good as well. So there we have it. I think that's everything that I got from Ikea. Oh no, no, I lied. I also got myself a waste paper bin for my office. I needed an office bin because my old office bin is now my studio bin. So I needed a new one. And I thought because it's just gonna be for paper, I would get one of these. So it's a nice plain kind of it's like a very light gray slash white. And I love it, so that's good practical item that I needed. Let's move on to home bargains. I love me a home bargain. I am my most happiest when I'm shopping in like bargain stores or like Poundland when there's cleaning products. And boy, did she buy some things. Okay, first up, I decided to buy myself a new food waste bin. So my council picks up food waste. I'm not used to that. Back in Birmingham, we used to just have to put our food in the black bin. But where I live now, we have to do our food waste. And I do have one of these. It came with the house and it's green, but I saw the gray one and I was like, that would match my kitchen better. So yeah, it's just a little food waste bin caddy and you put uh, biodegradable bags in and then put all your food waste in and then it gets picked up. So yes, I got one of those. I think it was quite cheap actually. What else did I get? Got myself some toilet duck. This stuff makes me happy. I is it really sad that I just love cleaning my toilet? And now I've got three to clean. I have three toilets to clean. I probably should have bought more than one, but I got some marine wave toilet duck. The next few bits are actually for my guest room, having my first guest tomorrow, I think. Does this class as a household thing? It does now. Shampoo and conditioner. I tell you what, I've done that thing again where I've bought something for someone else when I wish I had it for me because it smells delicious. Honestly, I want to drink it. Don't do that, but it smells that good. And then I got some, got some shower gel in um, lime and coconut milk. That is also very pleasant. Toothpaste, Colgate, Total. Um, that wasn't really home stuff. Back to the home stuff. Bought myself a saucepan from Home Bargains because I've only got like one saucepan and we've been living off one saucepan. Obviously I've got a big pasta one. I've got like a wide base pan, but when it comes to actual saucepans with lids, I only had one. So I treated myself to a smaller one and it's non-stick because, well, you need more than one pan in your life. So yeah, Home Bargains had those and I was like, uh, yes, please come to mama, get into my kitchen cupboard. I also bought myself some floor cleaner. <laughs> This is thrilling for a lot of you, I'm sure, but I love cleaning products. This is Apple Blossom. I've actually already used it in here when I cleaned the lounge, but oh, smells good. Let's get on to the range. Okay, then. I bought myself a bathroom bin. This is for, 
I decided I've actually got another bin from Poundland, but we'll get to that in a minute. This is a three litre pedal bin from the range. This is either going in my downstairs toilet or the guest en suite. Need a little bin. Got myself a cheeky little dustpan and brush in grey. The one I have at the moment is white and it's, it's looking a bit sorry for itself. So I've got a grey one. This, oh, who knew she could be this excited about a rack? This is a shelf rack for a kitchen because I hate wasted space. So you, this is where you can put cans. In fact, I'll show you the label. You can put cans underneath as well as on top. And I just thought, yes, I need that in my life. It says it's got a sturdy design. It's a space saving solution and it's wipe clean, which is always good. So yes, I have one of these for one of my kitchen cupboards so that I can access that extra space. I also got from the range. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't initially want this one. I wanted this clear plastic on an angle kind of almost like a sweetie jar for my dishwasher tablets but they didn't have any in all the shops that I went to but I did find this it's a little dishwasher tablet caddy and I just thought that would look so much cuter than the boxes that dishwashers tablets come in and I can't wait to just open my kitchen cupboard to be like oh where the dishwasher tablets live. It's the little things in life, guys, it really is. I'm a big fan of Scrub Daddy. Um, so this is a Scrub Daddy Caddy. It's a holder that kind of suctions onto your sink and holds the Scrub Daddies. Now these are actually Scrub Mommies. I'm not sure why they need to like gender them, but there's a Scrub Mommy. Um, I do have Scrub Daddies that are yellow, but I bought these because they were gray and white on the other side and I thought, that's great, one for each sink. I already have one of these, so now I've got two. I bought a colander. I do have a colander, but probably the most useful colander belonged to cameraman Chris. So I bought myself a white plastic colander. I think it was only like a quid or something ridiculous from the range. So yeah, a really nice sized one of those. Oh, this is where the exciting stuff is. I got this, which is called Astonish, good brand. It's in peach blossom and it's concentrated disinfectant. <laughs> I know how to YouTube. Yeah, there we have it. So it's this disinfectant. You dilute it with water and it just smells divine. These are really good for recycling bins or just bins if they get dirty. And oh, it smells like a peach iced tea. Shouldn't smell that good. But yeah, I'd never actually seen these before. And I got very excited because I just love cleaning products. I also got this. This is clean and fresh buster plug hole. This is just some foaming granules to make plugs smell a little bit nicer. Always wanted to try that. I got myself a steel soft grip peeler. So yeah, I got a new peeler because the one in the house already, which I bought years ago, just got a bit chewed and a bit ruined. So I treated myself to a brand new peeler. I've got myself some hob cleaner. This is also by Astonish. This stuff's really good, apparently. So I cannot wait to clean my hob. Ooh, antibacterial as well. This removes burnt on food and watermarks. It cleans, polishes, protects, and freshen. <gasps> apparently it smells like zesty lemon. It does. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. I want to go clean my hob. This was an impulse purchase, but I thought this would be perfect to clean the guest bathroom and just have some a cleaning thing. Like I have cleaners in my bathroom, but I don't really want to swap between the two. So I bought myself a Minky M cloth and it's an antibacterial cleaning pad and it's Feels really nice actually, non-scratch, great for washing up and wiping down. It's, it's two-sided as well. So yeah, I've got one of those. I got some eraser sponges. Now I had never used these before, but there are a few marks in this house on the walls that I want to tackle. You do have to be careful with these. They're not as miracle as they say because they are an abrasive. So they definitely can take up paintwork, but just be gentle with them. You just add water. You don't need to add anything else, but it claims to magically remove marks and stains. So 
there we have it. I got a little box of those. I got some black bin bags. I know, thrilling. Microfiber cloths. I got them in a variety of colours. I either love these or hate these. Today they don't feel bad, but sometimes you can get a microfiber cloth and it like clings to your hand. It feels horrible. But this is just a set. I always use these when cleaning they're great for dusting they are fantastic for cleaning mirrors once you've cleaned it to get all the smears off they're just such a multi-use cloth and yeah i mean you guys probably have them yourself then last i bought my mom's a big fan of these this is the most scrumptious hand wash that you can't get everywhere but the range seem to always stock it it's the imperial leather botanical garden and raspberry blossom hand wash when I tell you this is the best smell, I mean it. It's, it's really good. So I bought one of these for the downstairs toilet and one for the guest room as well. I'm actually sat on something from the range. Let me get my butt up, hang on a minute. I bought a doormat. This is for my utility room because I have an outside side door there. Thought it would look good in there. I think I might go for this kind of cheerful theme, like grey white with a little bit of cheerful yellow in there so got a little mat which is nice i'm gonna put that back under my bum because it's quite comfortable Ooh, i forgot about these okay <laughs> i <laughs> bought these in tesco bought myself a wide vase I don't have many vases, but I love buying flowers. I adore buying flowers, especially at springtime. So I got this vase from Tesco. I thought, thought it was very nice. My mum's got one quite similar. I bought myself a mug. Look at this mug. It's by Fox and Ivy. It's this kind of, it's like cream pink and red. How adorable is that? Like that is, that's a special morning mug, isn't it? I love that another plant i know i saw this and i really liked it i'm not sure what room i'm gonna put this in yet but you can't have enough of these plants i'm a big fan of finding fake plants that look real because the more of those i can have in my life the better i'm gonna move into this bag next because this is like a mishmash of stuff this is actually from my mum's house i've been kind of collecting stuff over the last few months of things that i just wanted for when i lived by myself um this was actually a christmas present from my mum this is i believe olive wood it's a chopping board that's so pretty so thank you mum and dad this feels so so nice this was from tk maxx but yeah it's solid olive wood and it tells you how to look after it you can't dishwasher it but you can grease it with vegetable oil and a soft cloth so yeah a nice little chopping board for the kitchen this i bought from next home i think yeah this is 14 pounds it's an antler tea light holder I thought that was lush. I think that might end up either in here, the living room or the kitchen because I've got so many tea lights. I think that might end up living in here. I really loved it as soon as I saw it. I just love antlers. Fake, obviously. This is actually stuff that I got from the range when I, oh well, no, it was B&M actually. I think this mat was from B&M actually, I lied. But yes, all the branding looks the same. These are round glass food containers with an airtight bamboo lid. So so it's their like Tupperware, but their glass with a nice lid. So I got a round one of those. And then I also got this duo pack of two rectangular, more standard ones. Again, glass, bamboo lid, super cute. Can I dishwash these? I can't dishwash the lid, but the rest I can. So that's good. <laughs> this one's so excited about, I actually forgot that I bought this. This is a egg poacher for the microwave. One pound 99 this cost. I tried to poach eggs once, didn't happen. I'm not very good at it. So I bought this in hopes that I can now make beautiful poached eggs in my microwave. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Oh yeah, ice, what a bargain, three pound. It's this kind of vintage wooden box and this was B&M and I thought that's cute and I thought that this might be perfect to ignore my shelves I know they're cluttered and full of stuff at the moment I thought this might be nice to dress the shelves in here and it will also act as some storage I just really liked it and for three pounds I could not leave a very magical looking chest in the store for three pounds so it had to come home with me this I do not remember where this is from 
I want to say that this is from Next. It's this glossy apple. I think I bought this for my kitchen, so I'm gonna find a home for it, but it's got this kind of concrete stalk. <laughs> And then it's really glossy and pretty. This costs six pounds from Next Home. And I just thought, that's so nice, it's so me. And then something else from B&M. These were one pound 50 each. Some food storage containers. These are good because if you buy grapes, you can literally just put them straight into here, wash them because they've got like little grooves and then put them straight into the fridge. So that's quite cool. They're also stackable. Now I only have a small fridge. That's why I only bought two of these. Um, oh, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Oh, another thing from Ikea. I bought this footstool. My mum has this exact one. I'm short, I can't see or clean the top cupboards of my kitchen. So I bought this stepping stool. They're just so useful to have. So yeah, I got myself one of those. This I didn't buy, this was a Christmas present. This had an orchid in it, but I killed it. And mum gave me the vase back because she tried to save it. Sorry, mum. I'm really good with orchids, but it was in, it looked like it was properly planted in here, but it was in the world's smallest pot underneath. So it just got root rot and absolutely died. But either way, I thought this would be a great vase to have for really tall flowers. So that I'm looking forward to using. Okay, I'm temporarily moving on to Habitat, which is Sainsbury's home. I got some of these. This is a clip top glass jar. I actually bought two of these for storage. I want them for rice. So one for basmati rice or something. And then the other one I'm gonna store couscous in. And yes, I'm gonna label them. Yeah. Thrilling, I know. So yeah, I've got two of those. I've got some new oven gloves to match the kitchen. Nice gray ones, I thought those were super cute. Can't wait to put them out. Oh, I bought some brand new kitchen scissors. Scissors are just so useful and I only have one pair, so I thought I'd get another one. So yeah, I've got some kitchen scissors as well. Poundland next. Now Poundland's not Poundland anymore because not everything's a pound. For example, this bin, this cost six pounds this is a five litre bin so a little bit bigger i bought this for one of the bathrooms now i did buy two of these which you may have seen in a vlog when i went shopping for these and i put them in my boot and i realized one of them had a massive dent in the back i don't know how i didn't realize in the shop so i returned it and then i was going to swap it out but the rest were a bit damaged as well but either way i got this bin like with a bamboo lid, which is kind of similar to one that I have in my bathroom, but a bit bigger. And I thought, you know what? That's great. So I'm probably going to put that in the guest bathroom. Need to decide where the bins go. But yeah, six pounds. Not too bad. Then, <laughs> I didn't get too much from Poundland. I got that bin and then, oh, look at it. How much did you cost? You were five pounds. So this is a vase. I mean, it's beautiful on its own, but it came with this fake eucalyptus. There's a theme, isn't there? But this is a really nice fake plant. I just thought that looked really stylish. Couldn't leave without it. But I thought for Poundland, it looks expensive considering it's Poundland and I really liked it. So I can't wait to find a home for that. We're getting, the, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Um, <laughs> we've actually still got some B&M stuff, but let's go to TK Maxx next. I should have got a basket. I shopped in TK Maxx and I was just holding it. I was like, I'm not gonna get a basket because I don't wanna buy too much. Yeah, famous last words, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this. I have been after a cleaning noodle for a while. I hate dust bunnies that like hang from ceilings. And I found this, it's by Cleanies. It says it's ideal for skirting boards and corners and it's got an extendable handle, which is what we like. It extends to 1.2 meters, but yeah, it's got a head that comes off so you can wash it in the washing machine. It's good for floors as well, but I bought it for the walls. But yes, many, many purposes. You can use it wet or dry. I, <laughs> it was so funny. I was literally, I had arms full of like candles, and I'll show you those in a minute, and like, other things and I just saw this it was the only one in, in TK Maxx and I just remember I was on my own as well and I just went oh, a cleaning noodle <laughs> and I was like I need it so I had to like put everything down inspect it 
So yeah, it came home with me. The package is definitely a little ripped. I don't think that was me, but yes, the product itself is fine and I'm really looking forward to using it. <laughs> you guys are getting to know the real me right now because the cleaning products is where all the excitement comes from. I also bought another guest towel. So this is a hand towel. I think this one's gonna be for the downstairs toilet. It's just this kind of stone gray. This cost a £4.99 from TK Maxx. Oh my God, look at it. Doesn't this look like it belongs in Dumbledore's office? Yes, it does. This is an armillary sphere. I have been looking for one of these for years. It was £34.99. I'm obsessed. I don't know if this is gonna come live in here. It might, I'm thinking bookshelf with that little, with that little chest. Isn't it glorious? I just couldn't resist. I love it. I'm not joking when I said I've been looking for one of these for years and I found it in HomeSense, which is TK Maxx home stuff. Beautiful, isn't it beautiful? Next up, I got myself a new loaf tin. This is a salter one. My old loaf tin got a little bit ruined, so I got a brand new one. Did I buy this just to make banana bread in? You would be correct, I did. And this cost £5.99, so that's a nice little bargain. Again, very exciting stuff. This is Bin Buddy. If you guys have never heard of Bin Buddy, they normally do like these little sprinkles that smell really good and you put it in the bottom of your food waste bin or your normal bin and it absorbs any moisture that makes it smell good. Now I realised for £2.99 they did this Bin Buddy spray and it smells like apple and this is to fresh and clean your bin. So it deodorises, it cleans it and it makes it smell really, really good. I love the smell of orange but apple and peach actually is probably my second runners up and i've already got the apple bin buddy sprinkles so i thought i would get the bin buddy spray to match because that kind of stuff makes me outrageously happy candles i'm sure you're here thinking cherry i swear i've heard you before say i don't need any more candles you would be correct but i've gained rooms now that i live on my own i went and sniffed the candles in tk maxx this brand Sand and Fog is my favourite brand of candle. They are delicious and you tend to find them in TK Maxx and HomeSense in the UK. Ah, <sighs> divine. This is pineapple coconut. I bought this one, not because it was pink, but the smell reminds me of a candle I had when I first moved into my mum and dad's house that they're in at the moment. So it brought back some fond memories, or was it this one? Hang on, one of them did. No, it was that one. It was the coconut one. It fills me with a lot of happiness. I don't know if you guys get that when you kind of associate memories with smells, but I smelled this one and it just took me back. It must have been like an old Ikea candle that I had and it just smells like my old room. So I thought I'd buy this. I think I might make this my either my office candle, probably not, or my new bathroom candle because I just got through a big candle like this in my bathroom and need a new smell. So I might do that. I did buy this candle specifically for this room, the lounge. So it's grey, it's got a wooden lid, it's even got like this little leathery faux leather handle and then this is vanilla sandalwood so these cost by the way the pink one was 7.99 and this one was 8.99 i don't know why it was a pound extra i'm guessing that little bit on the lid but <laughs> whatever oh yes i just liked the idea of new smells in the house so i got that and that's going to be the new living room scent because i've been using christmas candles in here for a while and it's time for a change uh <laughs> That's a big bag behind me. Let's talk about my little trip that I took this weekend with my mum and dad to Denby Pottery Village. I know, I sound extremely cool right now. I bought some new bowls and I bought some new plates. I'll just show you one of each. They're very simple. This is a very simple white bowl. Denby's definitely not cheap, but it's something that I wanted to invest in because, you know, I use bowls and plates every day and I want nice ones. So these are the cereal bowls that I got. And there's the bottom. Denby, if you want to know which ones they are, but they're a nice size. I think they were about 11 pounds and I got four. So I love me some cereal. And then I got some little side plates. 
oh they're so cute this is the first time like unwrapping them i need to wash them little simple side plates like how adorable are those and then i got the bigger plates which are the same as those but big i'm not going to get those out but so i've got brand new plates and stuff and then i got myself a you didn't see it um i bought myself a rolling pin this cost five 5.99 and yeah this is a beach rolling pin because i didn't have a rolling pin or i did well there was one in the house but it wasn't mine so i bought myself a rolling pin and quite like it so that came from the denby place as well are you ready for some b m goodness okay i saw these i really hope they work because i bought two and they were like 6.99 each these are corner suction two-tier corner baskets for showers. I've got two showers in this house. So I bought one for the guest room. I hate bottles that are like on the floor in showers. So I bought some of these, one for the guest room and one for my shower as well. I just thought they were really useful. And for 6 dollars bargain. I just thought they are perfect for shamp just a couple of shampoos. Well, a shampoo, a conditioner and a body wash, like, and a sponge. Like that's all you need in a shower. So very excited to put those in the showers. Um, fingers crossed that they work. They should do. A similar kind of theme. I bought this, this was five pounds. It was in the sale. Toilet roll holder. So the toilet roll goes on this bit and then you can put spare rolls over this. Needed one for the guest bathrooms. That's that. More things for the guest bathrooms. I bought some towels i got a bath sheet which is huge that was £9.99 then i got a bath towel so like a hair towel that was 6 dollars and then i actually got two of these at 3 dollars a hand towel but i thought a nice new set for guests three pounds another bargain from b&m this is a toilet brush this is for the downstairs toilet i think i am going to put that little white bin and this one in the downstairs toilet but yeah so a nice like three pounds and that's actually quite stylish it's got like these little these little dots all over it i really liked it and i was like you're coming home with me and it did it came home with me got some tea towels for the kitchen i thought i would get some fresh ones there's some that i want to get rid of this was three pounds for five and i found this kind of like gray checkered pack and i was like yes three pounds i'll take it i will now the rest of the stuff in here is just cleaning products but i will show you because cleaning products they make me happy. I bought two of these. If you've never used this before, you are missing out. This is the best scent. This is 1001 Carpet Fresh Foaming Spray. So what I do is I vacuum my rooms and once the carpet's all clean, I will then give this a shake and then you literally spray it all over your carpet. It's foam. You don't have to do anything to it. You just leave it and oh, the smell they do fresh linen i think they do an orchid one but i don't really like that one i think they do another one but this one is by far the best it's spring blossom and mandarin it really is delicious so i bought two because they can run out quite quickly i've got through quite a few of these over the last year but they're fantastic so if you've got carpet and you want to give them a little freshen up you know what to get I think they're like a pound as well you know what i was saying about new scents i got febreze this is crocus and bluebell <sighs> daring that smells like spring this is delicious uh, i think i'm gonna make this the downstairs scent it smells so good new cleaning products new smells it just fills me with joy cleaning products I have a big recommendation for you. I've been using the cucumber and aloe one. Um, I think that's the one. But um, Zaflora, fantastic. These I think are quite new. So this is multi-purpose disinfectant cleaners. And I got one in lemon zing. And I also got one in rhubarb. Now I've used the rhubarb one already. And when I tell you, <laughs> this did weird things to me because it smelled so good it honestly smells heavenly oh my god <laughs> if you're gonna buy one of them if you like rhubarb get this one um not that expensive i don't think maybe one to two pounds each the floor is great they also do concentrate disinfectant but these multi-purpose cleaners 
are fantastic and the size of the bottles are great um so we have three of the four scents that they do now i don't think i was interested in the purple one but they're really good i also bought this for spring though i could start using it now I've, i don't know if it works this bnm so it's called resolver lawn weed killer ready to use it kills weeds and not lawns i do have weeds my house is next to a field so i'm gonna try this on the big dandelions because apparently it doesn't kill the lawns it kills clover daisy dandelion and more i only want to use it on the dandelion i like daisies and i quite like clover so i'm gonna give it a whirl then <laughs> bought myself a big bottle of comfort this is summer vibes me and my mum love detergents so whenever we see like a new flavor or a new scent we tend to buy them for each other because we love 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 them so we buy the comfort and then we buy the surfs as well and this one mom's a bit annoyed at me because i didn't get one of these um <laughs> i'm not sorry it smells good and also they were quite big so yes it's a limited edition one it smells like fruit salads and i love it now these i'm quite excited about this this is, they're called Astonish Toilet Bowl Fizz and Fresh. I've never used these before. It says it's a deep cleaning foam. You drop one of the tablets into the toilet bowl, you wait 20 minutes and then you clean it and it's in pink peony fresh. And I'm just like, that sounds like fun and I already enjoy toilet cleaning, so. <laughs> yes i've had to sit up for a moment i'm getting a dead leg the last two things i want to show you are posters and i need to find frames for these they're 18 by 24 inches they're by an artist called window shop gal i've had them for two years and i'm finally going to put them up in the house once i've found frames for them and i don't even know if i've opened these come out oh she's out okay so can you see and it's Hermione in her blue dress. So yes, the Yule Ball. I thought clothes, laundry room, that might look quite nice in there. And then the other one I got, oh, I'm not gonna be able to get that out. I will leave the link to the other one I got down below, but it's a view of Hogsmeade and it's so, so cute. Um, guys, let me just show you around me right now. I feel very overwhelmed because <laughs> Oh no, I need to put all this stuff away. I told you I made damage. It's all stuff that I needed. Everything has a purpose. I'm gonna spend the rest of like, oh God. Yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away, but I'm gonna end the video there. <laughs> I hope you liked this kind of chill style video. Let me know what was your favorite thing in this haul, if you got this far kudos to you give the video a thumbs up if you did get this far thanks for watching guys that was a marathon i was a bit nervous about filming this because of how much stuff that i knew i had to show you because i know it's a lot but i have a lot of rooms to, to decorate and stuff and a lot of them are empty so I gotta start somewhere and um i was trying to get all the stuff that had a practical use and a few decor pieces to make it feel more me so yeah i hope you enjoyed this haul and i hope you're all doing well and let me know if you enjoyed this style of video i would like to maybe do more of these in the future not to this extent because yeah also there's my foster sofa i'm looking after it for a friend until my my nice sofas come um, in April I'm very excited about I will obviously show you the sofas when they arrive but yeah okay guys I'm gonna leave it here I feel like this is very long but lots of love see you soon bye